University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. This might look like a healthy coastal marsh, but the reality is that what you see is not necessarily what you get. That's why scientists like Susan Anderson have come together to study the salt marshes of California. We've lost a, a, the vast majority of wetland habitat in California. That's the most important thing to know. And of that habitat that is remaining, um, the areas for the organisms to live and breed and provide nesting for birds, of that small proportion remaining, um, I have to say that I don't think we know the health status. Much of the damage to salt marshes isn't as immediately obvious as litter on the beach. Pollutants can cause damage to the cells of plants and animals, which can affect reproduction. We collect these crabs here. They occur all along the state of California. Researchers can take them back into the laboratory, um, take blood samples just like as if you were at the doctor's office, I guess they are too, and uh, measure changes in their blood cells that indicate damages associated with pollution. Bodega Marine Lab is the headquarters for this $6 million collaboration between 30 scientists from UC Davis and Santa Barbara. Together, they hope to figure out the signals that indicate health or degradation in wetlands. Another thing we want to be able to do is to figure out how to better guide restoration efforts as they occur. Because right now we don't know the answer to how clean is clean. Reporting from Bodega Bay, healthy. I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.